everyone. My name is Jack. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jack and this is Sipping with Jack, which is a channel where I review all the type of beverages, non-alcoholic and alcoholic. And in today's video, I am trying out an eggnog latte from one of my favorite places you could probably see in the back, Big B Coffee. Also, so I know the sun is setting. I always forget we're in winter time where the sun sets at like 5.30 and I forget. So I apologize. The sun's behind me, so it might sound a little bit weird, but we're trying um, Big B's Coffee's eggnog latte. And I know some of you guys are probably like, Jacqueline, you're going through a whole thing right now. I am, okay? Last week, I tried eggnog, almond nog, didn't like it. Then I tried Bud Light Salsa Nog, and I loved it. So, I thought, might as well, let's just keep going on this eggnog kind of theme that I didn't honestly plan to do at all. But hey, we are here, so let's go ahead and just keep going. Before I start, I read the ingredients. It's just a blend of traditional nog spices with espresso. So it doesn't really tell me a lot. Hopefully it's all eggnoggy to the gods. But a little segue. Okay. So I bought this latte and I just need to get a feel out. This? Sorry, someone called me. So now back to the video. Okay, so this was $6.09. And I know Big B is a little more on the pricier side. And I can get that, but $6.09 for like the smallest size. I ain't gonna lie, that was a little, oh, that's a lot. Like when she said $6.09, I said, I just got one coffee, girl. And I did see a sign where it said that they... Oh, oh, uh, let me see if I can even open this first. Okay, so this is how it looks like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit better. Yeah, you can smell all of the eggnogginess. Um, but yeah, I saw a sign where they were saying that they did do a price um, increase. And they said all of the increase will go to the barista's wages, which is nice. But I ain't gonna lie, this is a hella expensive latte, even for me. And I know Big B has great quality, great coffee, great everything. That's why I love going here. But $6.09? This is damn near Starbucks prices. And I was, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. But let me know if you guys think $6.09 is a little too high for a latte. I just feel like it's too expensive. Like, it's just really expensive. It's really expensive. I'm sorry, I can't even get over that. But we are gonna go ahead and try this out because I'm actually really excited to see how it is. I got it hot. I don't know where what, what I'm going through right now, but literally the other day I had the Sinful Latte hot, which I'll put a little thing over here. That's, I post on my IG, which y'all should go follow because I try other drinks on there that I actually don't get to try on here. It's just more quick and fast, you know, reviews. But I tried that and I actually got it hot because the barista recommended it hot and that's fire. I'm not even going to lie. So, you know, I am a iced coffee, iced latte queen, but I decided to get this hot. And I'm not gonna lie, it's so hot right now, so I might have to take a little break. A few minutes late. Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to just like, the the cup is so hot, so I just wanted it to cool down just a little bit. I don't know why I did that, like as if I, I already know how it looks like, guys. I'm sorry, it's been one day. But I wanted just to let it cool down just slightly a little bit because literally me holding it feels really hot. And I did not want to burn my tongue because I did that the other day. And wow, wow, I was so mad at myself. It really killed my lunch that I was going to eat. So, go ahead, get this tasted. I want to get it. Wow, yeah, I don't think 
I like eggnog. I really don't think so, because this kind of tastes exactly like the almond nog, or like the eggnog I had, well, eh, almond nog that I had the other day, and I did not like that flavor. But this just now has espresso in it, and I just hate it even more. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and rate it. I'm going to rate it a one out of five. Personally, for me, I think just because I, I don't like it, but I know somebody will. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody, if you like eggnog, wow, this is amazing. Also, with the espresso, the latte, oh, it is giving eggnog. Um, I don't like it because I realized maybe maybe I was on that high from that seltzer nog thinking it probably could be transformed into a latte version that I like but actually I don't like it at all so yeah I guess I'm done with this eggnog stuff I'm so sorry y'all yeah I don't like it um but overall yeah mm-mm Mm -mm. No be gusta. I'm probably never ever get this ever again. Um, but in my head, I just thought that they have an eggnog cream freeze. Maybe that would be better. But I just feel like I'm gonna set myself up because I don't, I don't like the eggnog, like the seasonings. I don't know. I just feel like they're off. If that makes sense, it's like it's not cohesive enough for me. I just feel like I'm too much. It's too much. I don't know. But let me know down below if you've tried an eggnog latte. And also let me know, what do you guys really feel about eggnog? Like, I, I want to like it. But it's just, it's, it's getting really hard for me right now. It's getting hard. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, let me know what other drinks you would like me to try out. I'm going to try to do a different schedule, maybe do one try a week, one tasting room video, and then maybe something else. I'm just trying to maybe build a better schedule for you guys, so just let me know what you guys think down in below. Also, I want to thank all of the new people that are watching. I truly, truly appreciate it, and if you are back, hey, I see you guys. And I hope you guys have a great day, great afternoon, a great time wherever you are. Don't forget to keep on sipping. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!